Oh my gosh, it's the last video of the year. I know I have been lacking, I know I have been slacking, but we are here for the last video. So, I hope you guys stick around and take a look at how I did this look. <laughs> this is the last tutorial of 2020 for me. I'm back, and that's what matters. I'm back like the McRib baby. You didn't think I was gonna be back, but I'm here. <laughs> So we're gonna do a little New Year's moment. Let's get into it and action. All right, if I haven't said it before, I'm saying it now. Always start with your skincare. Make sure your skin is clean, moisturized, prepped, all those good things. Make sure you're cleaning off your brows. Don't go into 2021 with oily, dirty brows before you do a cover, okay? 2021 needs to be about health and wealth. <laughs> <laughs> and doing better. So once you got your brows clean, you take your almost glue stick. Some of us have a little bit more of a bushy brow. So you want to make sure that you have whatever you need to hold those brows. Look, 2020 has been a ride. This was the year that we all thought was going to be the year. Like we went into 2020 like, yes, we are in double, double, double numbers. I don't know what that means, but 2020 we are in like, even numbers, this is going to be it. And you know, for some of us in some ways it has, uh, but in many ways, <laughs> Ooh, 2020 has been a ride. Now really quick back to the brows, you wanna do a few layers of the glue stick. I've now also incorporated a blow dryer when I can. After that, I just do another layer and call it a day. I'm gonna prime, I use the Milk Hydro Grip. This one is the mini, and you really want to massage that in. I am only doing it right now on my forehead and nose. And then your girl's a little bit oily. We've, I think we've gone over this before, but if we haven't, hey, it's been a while. I use the Smashbox uh, Photo Finish and I use that in my T-zone and on my nose because that's where I get the oiliest. I'm gonna set my eyebrows and my primer with Kimchi Chic's Puff Puff Pass. Dust, dust. This is the most concealer in shade orange to color correct my brows. And everyone had these grand plans for 2021, whether it be dating, whether it be relationship, whether it be traveling. All of these things. And you know, I shout out all the people who have found relationships during these COVID times, risking it all, <laughs> going on these COVID dates. Uh, but you know, some people have found their person and some people realize that their person is <laughs> not their person. This is the Juvia's Place Foundation. This is shade, ooh, Savannah. Also 440, and I'm just going to cover those brows, cover like the middle of the nose and the forehead. I always joked that like it was the relationship test, especially if they live together. Like I gotta see you 24 seven, it's too much. Now for the brows, I am using Brow Wiz in dark brown, and I'm really just using this to shape. That's cute, that's cute. Let's see if I can do that on the other side. The pandemic really just tested everyone's relationships. Regardless of what those relationships were, honestly. One thing I always have to tell myself with brows is that they are sisters, not twins. Sometimes they're not even sisters. They are distant cousins, twice, thrice, and maybe even quite four times removed. <laughs> this part of my brows I actually got from Roxy Andrews. She uses this tattoo liner by Kavon D to fill in the brow, which at first it is a little bit scary and it does not have to be perfect. We strive for perfection, but perfection is what perfection does. It's the end of the year. I'm not worried about perfection. I'm worried about getting it done. So <laughs> I'm gonna take this lighter brown right here and just dust that over. Next time we are TV magicking these brows on, we will fast forward and magically I will have brows, okay? 
Now I'm gonna take this darker brown and just dust that into there as well, giving the brow a little bit more dimension and also pulling it back here, which will soften the tattoo liner. Once you have the base of your brows done, you can move on, start cleaning them up. And this is the part where you can like kind of perfect it a little bit more and make them a little bit more sisters and not like adopted cousins. <laughs> I'm gonna use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I'm just taking that on a flat brush like so. Once you have your general reshaping down, you can go through and add and subtract and you can make your life a little bit easier. And I use this as the base for the eyeshadow as well. I'm just using the same setting powder as earlier and just setting my base for my eyeshadow. One thing that was amazing that came out of 2020 was the one size brand. Literally everything that they put out, I greatly enjoyed. Um, so the Visionary palette is no exception. So we're gonna be using the Visionary palette today for this look. So let's see if I can recreate this on this side. That is always the challenge. I'm taking a uh, suede charm right here and just going on the inside. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and take brownie right here and create the base of this shape that we're doing. So generally I start from the outer V and just go out a little bit because also this is going to help when we go to do the actual liner. I may be giving a little bit of a bitch face right now, but what I've learned in 2020 is that you want to relax your face when you're doing your eyes because like you're not always going to be like this so if you're doing your eye work like this everything's going to fall so you do it with your face more relaxed so your shapes stay where they may and then also when you lift up they still look cute but when you go down they still look cute that's the goal looking cute from every angle 2021 okay thank you next <laughs> <laughs> 2021 has brought out the best and worst of people. Like, I ran into a person that was wearing two disposable masks, not in a way that would protect him, but in a way where like one was right here going up and over the nose and over the top lip, and then the other one over the bottom lip and then under the chin. So when he went to go eat or drink or talk, his mouth was fully open. That defeats the purpose of wearing, don't wear a mask. If, I'm not telling y'all not to wear masks, but that defeats the purpose and you might as well not wear the mask if you're going to do that. But it's also brought out the best in people. Like many people have stood together to really, really fight for what's right in the world and what's good in the world and the love and kindness that's really at the end of the day, what is important. It really has warmed my heart. And segue, what's warm is this color mango. We're gonna go in with mango and just soften up this line here and blend that upwards. 2020 has just fully been that cat that you have a love-hate relationship with. Like it will knock all of your glasses over, but then it's gonna cuddle with you when you're like feeling upset or sad. Mostly when you're feeling upset or mad at the cat for not going the glass over, but it's still gonna cuddle with you. It thinks about your feelings. I have used more kimchi products than almost any other brand that I have used this year, period. Like also a brand full of bops. So shout out to Kimchi Chic Beauty. Today I'm gonna be using one of the Pot de Cremes. This is literally a creamy eyeshadow, like a cream eyeshadow. That's what I'm gonna use as the base for my gold. We've been new that there are just not great people <laughs> in the world, but like there's also been just such a level of sticking together and finding new ways to stick together. Like kids are going to school on Zoom. People are having Zoom parties. We're here, some of us are queer and we are connecting in ways that we never really thought was possible or like we knew was possible but never really gave it the time of day. So now I'm just going over the pot de creme and actually I was using Golden Pearl. Um, I'm going over it with Title Holder. Then we're gonna go back in with Brownie 
and then blend, 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 blend those edges a little bit more. Now, this is something that I literally just picked up and it is the Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner. It literally, for lack of a better word, the bee's knees, okay? Pretty much using that brown that we put down earlier as a guide, that's what I'm using to make the shape of where I want to go. Trace around where we did that cut crease. Really utilizing that tip. This is gonna be the base of that liner moment. Now I'm just gonna take Turban Legend, which if you saw this when it was fresh, there's a little emoji of Patrick with his little turban on. Um, and I'm just softening the edges of the liner, using this moment to pull out. One thing I'm doing while I'm pulling out is I'm not pulling like all the way upwards. I'm just really just going out, straight out and a little up, down just a little bit. And then once I have the shape, I'm really just going to pack in the color just to make it a little bit more impactful. And then again, soften those edges going on the inside. The only edges that I'm not softening is the edges like right by the inner portions. And I'm going to take a little bit of that brown and just pack that in. One thing I didn't do to the other eye yet was just do the little brow bone highlight. I'm gonna go in with Manila Sands and just tap, 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 while blending downwards. Downwards and upwards! Or is it onwards and upwards? It's onwards and upwards, but today it's downwards and upwards! I'm actually gonna do the under part of my eye now, part of it, before I go on. Now, I use my concealer to do the white part under the eye you could use a pencil this is just a little easier for me sometimes so then once that's done we're going to take a little bit of that same brow bone highlight and just set that cream you always kind of want to make sure you're setting your creams because they tend to move they tend to slip we don't want no slip inside. Oh, and also I'm taking brownie on like my little thin brush here, just going right underneath. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit, but I'm going to wait to do that until after I do like the actual base portion. Now really quick, I'm just gonna go in with my foundation. And this is the part where I was saying that my routine has changed. I used to do my base first, like foundation, highlight, contour, all that stuff first. And then I did my eyes. And then I did my powders, highlight, contour, all that stuff. Now, I just do my eyes, which I never thought that I would do because I always thought I would mess up my, <laughs> my eyes, which you can, um, but you just gotta be careful. Take it slow, slow and steady wins this race. Another lesson of 2020 is if there is a will, there is indeed a way. Oh! How could I forget? Shout out to Papa Joe, uh, becoming president-elect. That's another great thing to come out of uh, 2020. I know for some of us, he wasn't the first choice, but definitely a better choice than others, okay? But let us not forget, just because we now have a new president-elect does not mean that we stop fighting does not mean that we stop trying. It does not mean that we don't keep an eye out for all that is good in the world. I'm gonna take the one size powder and translucent, and then also the one size powder puff, which you can see has been greatly used, um, and set my highlights with this. You really can go in and like sculpt and shape how you want to with this. Only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is that you have to buy it separately. I thought it was worth it, so I bought it and I love it and use it all the time. I'm also gonna cut out my cheek right here. Little frown lines that love to, love, they love to foil me. They love to foil me, these frown lines. So we gotta set them so we can forget them. <laughs> Now that we're baking, I'm gonna go back to the one size palette and actually finish the bottom of this look. Taking the Morphe M508 brush, I'm gonna go back in with that brown. 
Oh, we're gonna tap. If you believe in yourself enough, you can just go straight in and pull, but I'd like to get it right without having to correct too much. Ooh, ooh, we love this. All right, all right. Honestly, I like to add my lashes at the end. Some people do it before, but like they're gonna get dusty. We don't want dusty lashes. We want them nice and refreshed and happy. Okay. In the words of Nicole Byer, you gotta do some math and like subtract a few things. Um, but 2020 had good parts, like every year does, and had some bad parts. It just so happens that this year, those bad parts were real bad. I think at the end of the day, we still just have to keep the hope alive, as they say, uh, that great things are to come. I'll fast forward to the next step real quick and I'll be right back. Every year we go into the new year, new me, new year, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Like, yes, that's great. How often do we actually stick to that? If you can, great, more power to you. But like, give yourself a break. I think I need just a little more blush, so we're gonna go back in. Come to life, it's alive, it's alive! <laughs> I'm a fool, y'all, don't study me. Setting powder. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like, oh, oh, highlight. My highlight of the year. The award goes to, where are you? Where are you? Oh. Drama queen. If I had legitimate awards, uh, drama queen would be the winner, okay? The winner. Because this highlight has not disappointed me one time. Not once. I'm gonna use all three of these. We're gonna build some dimension. I'm gonna use cinnamon glaze on the base. Then we're gonna do spread like butter right over top. Can I tell you it's spreading like a butter. And then right at the peak of that, we're gonna take smooth like silk, honey. Just, ooh, right there. Ooh, right there. I'm gonna pop that on the brow bone. Then I don't want my blush to get lost. So yes, I'm gonna go in with the blush again. Sue me. I used two setting sprays. I found this, this was accidental. I thought this was gonna be matte, but I picked up the wrong one. This is the NYX Radiant Finish. And this has little glitter sparkles in it, which look really good on camera. And then this is the Kimchi Stage Proof Matte. Boom. And if you want to boost your highlight even more while your face is wet, is a great time to do that. Mm, baby, baby. If I had to pick a hero product of the year, it would be Drama Queen. From the deepest person to the lightest person, damn near everyone can use every single color in here on something, whether it be on the eyes, on the cheeks, on the lips, on the body. Like, this is my hero product of the year, period. Baby, the glitter of it all. We're all in this together. Honestly, I hated High School Musical, but I did enjoy me some Zac Efron, baby. Let's throw a wig on and be done. All right, this is the look. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my last video of the year. The last video of 2020 on my page. Again, I know I have been slacking. I know I have been lacking, but thank you guys for sticking with me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever it is that you guys follow. But let us pray for health, wealth, and all the good things coming in 2021. I am hoping to share a lot more with you guys in the upcoming year. Don't forget to stay positive. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. And in the words of Patrick Starr, makeup is a one size fits all. Shout out to Patrick, shout out to Kimchi Chic Beauty. Again, this is not sponsored, but those are some of the products that I have loved this year. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. I cannot wait to see you in 2021. Bye. Happy New Year.